Hello everybody, Floppy Hat Photos back here again for their Idiot's Guide to Marathon Training. And today's little comment is going to be, basically I went out to try some new shoes out, some Hoka's, and I can't blame them particularly because I don't think it's going to be my issue. I liked them at first, I was about a mile and a half in, and my legs were cramping up so bad I couldn't hardly run, so I stopped and walked for a little bit. And they, my calves are locked up tight as rocks. I can barely walk right now. It's an insane amount of pain. I tried to run a couple more times, and it's just no matter what, they're locking right back up again. I've done a bunch of stretching, still not working. And what I've been is just got back from my trip out to Washington, D.C. for the Marine Corps Marathon, which I did not run. I was out there crewing for my buddy and watching his kid as we ran around so we could see him on the trip, driving home and doing some driving out there and at. And I realized I have not eaten any real bananas in the longest time. And I'm the guy who eats two to six bananas a day, sometimes 10 bananas a day. And I've realized the fact that by not eating those, I think it's the lack of potassium has got me cramping up like insane. My calves are hard as rocks and in just enormous amount of pain right now. So if it's something like that, I went out, I wasn't running real fast or nothing. And I was taking it fairly easy in the new shoes. I've, I've been running every day this whole year. So it's not that I haven't been still running, but it's cold out, that has a lot to do with it. And then lack of potassium, I'm pretty sure is what it is. Changed on the new shoes and it's definitely, definitely kicking my ass. So if there's something you're doing that you're used to doing all the time, like I am with eating bananas constantly, definitely, um, you gotta pay attention to that, man. I was thinking about running a marathon literally in two days, just one by myself out running to get my 11th marathon of the year in. And the way I'm feeling right now, there's no way I could have finished. There's absolutely no way in the world I could have finished without walking virtually the whole thing. And even then, this walking sucks like you can't believe. So keep up on your potassium. It's a big, big deal. On the trip, I ate like crap. I ate a lot of just random foods, five guys, which is delicious snap, but it's not healthy necessarily. I ate White Castle, I'm eating a bunch of junk food on the road. Just, you know, all that kind of good stuff. So definitely you gotta pay attention. Put junk in, you're gonna get junk out. And right now by junk out, I mean horrible performance. And like I said, my calves are just on absolute fire. I'm trying to make it back to the car so I can hit the store. I like my bananas super, super ripe. Luckily, I do have a few in the freezer that I froze for making like banana ice cream. It's basically a fake version of ice cream. I have some of those in there. I'll get home tonight. I'll eat those up. But I'm going to hit the store. We've got two different grocery stores here in town. I'll stop at both of them and get the most ripe bananas I have in stock and go from there. So, Because the only things I have at home right now are so green there's no way in the world i have any interest at all in eating those so that's all i got for right now um i just made two miles and the second mile was 12 13 my first mile i think was sub nine so to give you an idea i've been trying to run a little bit and walk and run and walk and it's just killing me when i try and run so pay attention to it don't let this get you too discouraged we're all going to have setbacks like this at first i was really feeling down but then it hit me this is one damn day i got my full mile in for my run streak and I'll change my diet. I'll eat some better food tonight. Probably cook myself some chicken breast and get some of this junk food crap flushed out of my system. And I'll be back at this in a few days and I'll go out and kick some ass again. So have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Get out there, lace your shoes up, hit the door, and get your run on.